Hey folks, thanks for tuning in for another video. So as you can tell, down here at the river today, um, finally getting a chance for any of you that watch my videos or anything over the years, you've known that or know that I have a river literally in my backyard. And I've always said for years that I've um, wanted to canoe or kayak this river, um, at least to see where I, how far I could go. And um, I've never been able to do that until this year. I finally got some kayaks. So that's what I'm out doing today. I'm out doing a little late season uh, short kayaking trip because um, as I've realized, I can't get very far in this river, which I kind of had a feeling um, because it's never been traveled and it's just, we're out in a remote area. Uh, there is a, a county road um, over here to my right uh, that you might hear a car occasionally go down. There's a bridge, um, but yeah, so I can't get very far, uh, but never knew it till I tried it. So, but that's not what this video is about. What we're gonna talk about today is the uh, remote designs hip pack and as you uh if you watch my previous video of the backpack i'll link it up there for you um, watch the backpack and check out that video but this is the hip pack so that's what we're going to check out so uh, stay tuned i'll be right back all right folks welcome back so let's take a look at this pack again this is the remote designs uh, hip pack this is a five liter hip pack and again, if you've seen the previous video of the 27 liter backpack, this kind of goes along with it. Um, or you don't have to get them, you know, together. Um, they work good as a pair. Uh, as I've used this again, just like the backpack, I have used this all summer long out kayaking. And as I've said in that video, any of you that follow me on social media will know that I've been kayaking a lot this summer. My goal was to get in a couple of overnight camping trips or stuff like that, but just haven't been able to do that uh, yet. Uh, so that's probably gonna have to wait till next summer to do some kayaking trips because it's uh, it's cooling down. Uh, we're mid-October right now. So anyway, this, this little hip pack. As you know, anyway, if you follow my channel as well, you know that I like fanny packs, hip packs, lumbar packs, you know, stuff like that. I've carried those for years. I just like them. These things are so versatile and easy. Uh, you can put, you know, whatever you want in these things and you know, a grab and go, that's what I like to do. This is no different. This is a great grab and go kit, uh, especially for, you know, again, out kayaking, water sports, uh, some day hikes, stuff like that. Completely 100% waterproof. As you can tell right here on the front, you do have a zippered pocket on the front. Both zippers, just like the um, backpack, have these nice T toggle or yeah, like T handles. They really give you a good purchase when you open, when you open the zippers. Uh, so you actually have to hold on. There's a little loop on each side and you have to hold that loop to open it up. So you got a nice little front pocket here. Uh, it's you know not very deep, but it is a front pocket. I keep my fishing license in there. Uh, I do a lot of fishing in the summer the, in the kayak. So I kept my fishing license in there. On the back, you do have some padding right here that goes along your um, lumbar area, which is really nice. Um, it's, I found it to be very comfortable uh, wearing it. And when I get out of the kayak, uh, go tramping through the woods to down to a fishing spot that I like, uh, stuff like that. I found it very comfortable. Do have a little bit of padding on each little flap of the hip belt. Hip belt's adjustable, obviously. Um, I'm a bigger guy, as you know, and um, it fits me just fine. You have a little elastic keeper um, strap on both sides to uh, cinch the extra up when you're not using it. Also on both sides, you have this little pull tab right here. It kind of you know, gives you some extra adjustability to your, um, kind of like, um, it's kind of like load lifters on backpacks. Kind of gives you some extra versatility uh, to really cinch this, this pack in tight. And then your main compartment is again, have a nice little pull, little T pull handle. This is made out of the same material, like 1680D TPU type uh, material. So very heavy duty. And again, had to pull, hold on to this little pull tab here to really open this up. And that's what I like too. You really have to hold it to open it. All your stuff is, is completely secure in here, waterproof. And I have to take something out here because YouTube, I have my printing tool in there for just for protection. So I have to take that out. So inside you have a little mesh pocket on the back here and one on the front. Uh, you can't really, kind of hard to tell, but you do have little mesh pockets if you want to put, you know, whatever in there. So in here right now, I just got a little first aid kit, uh, some wipes, uh, some extra sunscreen, 
and uh, my wallet, um, extra knife, some paracord, stuff like that in here, but it holds a lot of stuff. Um, as you can tell, it, it did hold my little, my printing tool in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in here and close it up, but uh, it will hold that just fine as well. Um, and you do have to really cinch this thing down. So it's not like some of these cheaper ones that are out there that you may have seen. These zippers are, are excellent. I, again, submerged this in water. Uh, I took it when I went on vacation out into the ocean. I wore it with me, took all my essentials out here. Basically what I got in here now, my printing tool, my uh, ID, uh, first aid kit, trauma kit, uh, just some knife, some minor stuff. And I took that down to the beach with me, walked around the beach when we did our walks at night or whatever, I always had this on me. Uh, that way, you know, again, for protection or whatever, you know, never know, survival stuff, had it in here. So. Again, this thing is awesome. Um, I'd definitely check it out. I'll put a link again down below. It's not an affiliate link, so I get nothing off of this uh, if you buy it or not. It comes in two colors, the tan here and the green. So my backpack is, if you've seen that video, is the green and this is the tan. So I really like both colors. Uh, green is my favorite color. So, um, but just <laughs> that being said, I love this thing too. Uh, I love the, the brown and greens are uh, just the earth colors. I really like them. But again, heavy duty. Um, I have had zero issues with this thing at all. And again, there are prob there are some cheaper ones out there. Um, I would not buy the cheaper ones. Just spend a little bit extra money and buy a quality one. So anyway, that's all I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna get back down here on the river. I think I'm gonna you know, make some lunch and uh, yeah, hang out by the river for a while before it's time to go back. So thanks again for watching folks. Thanks for all the likes, shares, subscribes. Um, any of you new followers, uh, thank you again. Please like me on Instagram and um, Facebook as well. I have uh, I do a lot of different things on there that you will not see on YouTube, uh, just picture wise. So again, thanks again for watching, folks. I'll see you on another video really soon. Get outside, get outdoors. Always make sure you have the necessary skills to survive. I'll see you on another video soon.